In today's video, I'm gonna show you what I did for the entire week. Last week, I borrowed my friend Ben's tractor and I dug a bunch of holes in the pasture area that I need to fence in. And this week, we needed to buy more material. We're gonna put all the all these we're gonna put all this in the holes that we just dug. Alright, so we don't have Ben's tractor anymore. And we're <laughs> now we have to come up with our creative ways on unloading all this wood. And again, I'm, I'm just putting H braces where there's a gate and where there's a corner. And I'm trying to just reuse what's already here. We're being timed now because the grass is going to start growing and where I drill these holes all that dirt's going to get hard <laughs> grass is just going to grow all up on it so we're counting down to the days of summer pretty easy doing it this way. Driving the property? Yeah. <laughs> Spring is creeping up on us pretty quick and we have broiler chickens coming in 13 days. Hi pigs. My deadline for this part of the fence was in 13 days. It does not seem like I'm going to make my deadline. I haven't completely gave up on my deadline just yet. We still have some time, so let's keep it going. This is the second part of homeschool. Out here with dad learning how to set poles. I already seen a problem. Well, not a problem, but I forgot to do a hole over here because this is where a gate's gonna happen.
I feel like the barn is getting a little bit out of hand because I've just been working on just all these kind of different projects. I still have the freezer. I've got all this, I've got all this wire. I need to find a thingamajig, which I'm trying to reuse what I have already. And that's what having this fence already here really does help me. I mean, the cost to do this fencing would be double of what I'm already paying. Uh, so I'm trying to just reuse what I have. I am changing things a bit. Uh, initially, I was going to do all the woven wire, which is this. Um, and this is just in our pasture area. Instead, I'm gonna use, continue using the high tensile because I have so much of it. I'm just gonna do what I have. Uh, just reuse what I have. But using this high tensile stuff, it's already kind of there. So that's gonna help me so that way I can just get it done so that way we could have larger animals. Because ultimately that's why I'm doing this, to get larger animals this year. We're getting low on beef. I'm trying to be responsible about it. The first year, you know, you just want to get all the animals. You don't care if you don't have water set up or if you don't have fencing. You just want to get the animals and do the fun stuff. But I think a lot of times we have to remind ourselves like, hey, let's just hold up. Let's just let's just try to do it right so that's basically what i'm trying to do i'm trying to get back to that of trying to do it right because there's no hurry although we're running out of beef but you know there's there's really no hurry to to get the animals animals are always going to be there people are always going to have them and if we can set up this pasture fence then that's just going to help us be more successful at raising these animals. doing my own fence and I realized that after I'm done I'm gonna know my land pretty good these poles are set uh, we're supposed to get some rain getting rain off and on really and then we just got to fill those up take the wood off and I still need to do a few more poles but we're getting there guys so change of plans change of plans I was gonna do the woven wire all along the pasture area all around 
but this is already here and I feel like I should really just utilize what's here and the only thing is that I'm, I'm gonna have to add this add to this because this is for a horse fence there's too much of a gap here uh, between wires and so if I could like condense them down shorter or narrower and then add maybe one or two wires in between and that will hold out the smaller animals that's I think that's what's kind of hard about the fence because it's so permanent um, if that don't work I can always add woven wire also I think over time I'm gonna end up ripping up these wood posts and putting a timeless fence system rather than the wood but that's gonna be a gradual over time uh, but for now we're utilizing what we have here All right, so now we have our H brace in, we have T posts in, and now we're at a point where we can stretch some of this woven wire. Getting a little, a little squirrely on me. This is definitely the longest run I've done so far. No, my dream is not to build fence all day, but the fence is gonna get me to live my dream more efficiently and will allow me to sleep better at night. I find that gloves, they're not a perfect glove I have not found. They just kind of get in the way and they get caught up in all this and it's just easier if I just go bare hand. I think what's happening is, um, hold on, let me get you. Uh, uh, down there, because these poles are not straight, it's gonna wanna pull this whole thing straight. So, to me it feels pretty tight, but I think I need to start <laughs> like hammering some spots in just to kind of prop it up. You know, if you had like multiple people, oh, 
then uh, we can all hold it in place. I am learning that doing 100 feet at a time by yourself is very doable. But doing this, this is about 300 feet. This is a little bit more challenging. Let's try the old bungee cord trick. Just needs somebody to hold this in place. All right, the perfect bungee. That's another use for one. A third hand. All right, guys, that's it. We have a tight fence. This is about 300 feet. My longest run I've ever done and the most difficult when you're doing it by yourself. Uh, I already tied in the T-posts. Uh, I think it looks pretty good. Now I'm eventually gonna run a hot wire up top so that way I can tie into the hot wire so I can still use my electrical netting. So, so far I've ran about a thousand feet of woven wire fence. And we're not done yet. I think for now on, the next step is we're gonna do the high tensile fence. We're gonna switch it up and do that all around the pasture area. Again, this is not our complete piece of land that we're doing. This is not even that. Uh, that'll, you know, I'm gonna eventually do the whole property but that will probably be maybe next year but now I'm trying to just finish what I need to in here before it gets too hot because I'm definitely not doing this in the summer look at our plants guys look at that what I did what I've been doing is thinning out these plants because sometimes the seeds are so little you don't realize that you've put maybe four seeds in one little pod here. So um, what I've done is just kind of thin them out. I'll just pull them out very gently and they, the roots are so short that they can, um, they're not twined up yet. That would happen like later when they're more mature, but they're so, um, the, the roots are pretty straight. So what I've been doing is just pulling them out and then repotting them into seed trays and saving them because I hate thinning out seeds and then just throwing the, the sprouts away. So that's what I'm doing. I'll probably end up just giving these away to friends or my mom or something. And now for dinner, guys, we decided to make a little trip up our hill and eat outside today. And it gives us a little workout. <laughs> before we eat. Plus it's such a beautiful day, look at that. The sun is setting. It almost feels like summer. This is still very, very warm. What's for dinner? All right, we've got a very simple dish, which is round pork and pasta and some bell peppers. Is itchy. Oh, looks good. Also, what we have today for dessert, and it's still warm, is a nice crumble top pie. 
Wow. You outdid yourself today. <laughs> So give me your, this is a um, peach and pear that we canned from the summertime. Mm, recipe, please. <laughs> I didn't want to bring out more dishes because this was already very heavy. Yep, we have to reuse, reuse our dishes. Peach crisp, peach crisp. Peach crumble. What are the names for it? I think this is technically a crumble. There's another name. I don't remember what it was. You want some? Peach cobbler. I'm not sure if it's a cobbler technically. I think it's more of a crisp. The technical term. Either way, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> Either way, it's like fruit pie <laughs> in some sort of 